Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, it's Andy from Big Mac Workshop. Uh, here I am reconditioning another unit of Night Lords. This time it's Cataphract Terminators. Um, again, from my old um, collection from way back. So I'll start off with Black Base and I'm hitting it straight over the top with Necron Abyss. Now I will be doing a sort of a, a highlighting technique like a Xenophil so we're all walking, uh, like walking through the same uh, lamp. And uh, so I'll use uh, War Paints Blue as the initial highlight. Um, positioned in such a way so uh, the light will hit, hit the model at a different angle to um, its contemporary. Um, keeping it nice and steady, gentle um, low pressure with the airbrush, really thin paint just to, so I can get the paint where I want it. Okay on the, uh, the gold trim I'm using i Lucifer Bronze. I could probably use uh, something like Timbits. Uh, looking at it I don't think I'll be using I, uh, um, Lucifer Bronze anymore. It's going on too thick and lumpy. Uh, it's an absolute swine to get right. And uh, as always a bit of lead belcher for the silver work, such as the barrels for the auto cannon um, and the um, combi bottles, etc. Now, uh, there's some uh, we're doing some interesting lever work effects later on in the video. So uh, if you want um, to have a look at something interesting, keep on keep keep watching for that. Okay, so I'm now working on the thunder hammers. Um, and the base colour for that is Brass Scorpion uh, over which I put uh, a generous Agrax Earthshade over the top uh, and I'm continuing the um, Agrax Earthshade into the uh, bolt guns uh, also with um, a black wash as well over the top for all the silver work and some of the gold, uh, gold sections as well the uh, leather uh, has also been um, washed down with Agrax, but at this stage um, I changed my mind up to what colour I was going to use, so uh, we'll be coming back to that in a short period of time. So here's the face of the sergeant, uh, base coated with Cadian Flesh Tan, um, the standard sort of Requin Flesh washed over the top and then I started to highlight it with uh, the layer model colours, a light flesh um, bring it up to a, a really crisp highlight uh, when I get when I get to it the skulls on uh, the sergeant was also kept really simple we just used um, a shouty bone highlighted up with Screaming Skull after a wash with Agra Surf Shade. It was only a small detail, so I didn't feel the urge to go over the top. Now I'm back onto the face now, putting the highlights. This is a Cadian Flesh Tone mix with Light Flesh, as I've already said. And I'm really trying to get the detail of the face. Um, I didn't really make the most of it the first time around. Um, there's a lot of quite striking details about this. Um, it's quite quite characterful face. So I'm making an effort to keep the wrinkles in, and creases in his face uh, in such a way as you can see it. Uh, really uh, enjoying painting the details on his face. And I'm just keeping on mixing the light flesh ever so gently just on the uh, raised areas um, and um, maybe putting a little bit of a darker colour in um, to into the shaded areas just to um, cover up any over highlighting I've already um, produced. Now I'm going to apologise for any uh, faulty brush work or faulty camera work to be fair. Uh, this is our first time back making videos since before Christmas so we're not getting things 100% right like we, uh, like we should. So here, here I am, I'm putting another Retail Flesh Tone wash into it just to uh, pick out the details uh, that, that bit more. I believe I um, thinned it out somewhat as well. 
which wasn't seen on camera, um, just to get a bit of extra control over it. So now I'm back on working on the, on the gold. Now the second layer of gold was below game colour brassy brass, uh, going straight over the top of the Lucifer bronze, um, just to add a first more stable highlight over the top um, to allow me to come up to a nice rich gold colour. And the gold colour I'm using is Genner's Gold uh, by uh, Games Workshop. Uh, again, you know the routine, picking out the areas what look like they've been hit by the sunlight or street lamps, whichever. Um, I'm just trying to make the thing look a bit more life. This step of the um, paintwork can take time when working with a unit, so try not to get too bored. Uh, I definitely was uh, at various stages having to uh, take a minute. So, I'm back working on the, uh, the level work. So, as I said, I've done something a little bit different. I started off with Bugman's Glow. I've decided that the um, flesh work was actually going to be, uh, the level work was actually going to be flesh. So now I've, mi uh, I've mixed up Bugman's Glow 50 50 with Rakar Flesh and put it down as a base highlight uh, to get the flesh tone the right shade. Now, this uh, can be, this is quite an intricate step because um, of the on the shoulders it's um, folded around nicely, but you can it's quite easy to um, get it onto other areas. So just be careful. Try to uh, miss the gaps if you can, but you'll be uh, coming back to that shortly anyway. So once I've got the first layer of Rakar flesh down. Uh, with the Pokemon Go and putting pure Rakar flesh onto the top just as a proper highlight as such but it's going towards the uh, one edge and also um, in the centre uh, center of, center of the panels rather than as a full coat and uh, this is just to add the effect of um, a sort of a rotting look so what we decided was that uh, this level work was somebody's face or body then over the top of that, we uh, put a Agrax flesh, Agrax Earthshade wash over the top, really, really thin down with Lamia Media, um, and I put two or three coats of it just to build up the shade nicely. Now, as you can see, I've also done the same on the hammers uh, for their uh, handle wraps, um, just bringing it all together with a more interesting sort of uh, unusual. Uh, core scheme on that side of things. Once the uh, earth shade had dried, I was back on um, point with the Rakar flesh mixed with a Vallejo green grey. Um, that was just to give the edge highlights just a final bit of um, life. Um, really making the uh, raise set, raise sections out. Now, unfortunately, you can't see um, see all of it at best. So, as you can see, I'm painting some of the uh, wash it in, wash in now. Um, again, with the Agrox Earth Shade, and right into certain areas, I'll be putting a green wash into it as well, just to make it look like the, uh, the meat of the um, tassels. Are starting to rot, uh, rot away. So here, here's the highlight. That's a 50/50 rag half and green grey. And as I've said, just keeping. Uh, don't have to go over the top of it. Just a, a few thin lines. Across the center, uh, across the uh, panels, just to add a bit of life. And I'm back onto the hammers again. The fun hammers, uh, currently out of focus. The fun hammers uh, were highlighted uh, with Rune Lord bronze. Uh, from uh, GW 
and I was um, this this paint was really really thin down it's just short of a wash sort of consistency and I was making sure that the um, wash what goes over the top would be able to blend the paint in nicely so it looked like it's all part of the same thing just there but not just a streak of paint and I'll go around uh, on the auto cannon add in some um, Rune Lord bro um, brass, bronze I think it is Rune Lord brass on the, on the auto cannon sections as well what I painted in uh, brass scorpion and onto the final edge highlights of the Terminator. Uh, this was started off using a very, very thin uh, wall paints blue. Now this was essentially a glaze, um, which uh, was made up of four layers. Uh, as I said, wall paints blue. Then I core Coraline blue, but uh, any extremely light blue would work just as well and I'm keeping the flat of the um, brush to the edge so I'm trying to get a really straight line into it now what's different um, on this particular uh, thing to what I would normally do is obviously I've done the uh, angled lighting so the highlights are in different places to what I'd normally expect them to be so you just have to be a little bit um, mindful as where, where your highlights would be normally compared to how you've uh, structured your lighting as it can change um, the look of the overall paintwork. So as I'm getting to the um, real highlight sections I'm adding more and more of the uh, color line and eventually um, adding white to it so it's almost almost a white and just reaching the hot spots again uh, every single one of these layers is essentially a glaze but really really thin layers of paint so you can go over several times without obscuring any detail and also allows you to build up the highlights really really slowly so you get some real subtle sort of uh, blended highlight just working through to the um, working through to the uh, final result. Anyway, that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, feel free to comment and criticise as you wish. Uh, if you ask, if you want any questions, just feel free, um, go ahead and ask. Um, we're more than willing to answer anything what uh, you care to ask us. Okay, thanks for watching once again. Uh, this is Andy signing off and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye.